Bless us this morning with the Bible study. Good morning. I am so glad to be back in the fellowship with y'all this morning. Again, just want to thank you on behalf of the Ferris family. Thank you for your thoughts and your prayers for the passing of my Uncle Larry and Janet's brother, Larry Ferris. Just thank you for the flowers. He had a wonderful service. It was cold, <laughs> very cold, but it was a beautiful service. And just again, thank you so much for your thoughts and prayers. Uh, getting started this morning, I'll go ahead and open up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to gather here this morning, Father. And just, uh, Father, we just ask you to just bless this hour. Fill us with your spirit this hour, Father, as we study on you being self-existent and self-sufficient, Father. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come here together this morning. Let's open our hearts and our minds as we study your word. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. I, think, uh, I think it was a pretty fitting song we just sang, Little as Much, seeing how that the lesson I get today is only three pages long. I want to keep us over. I listened to Brother Richard last week, and I don't think I will beat his record. He's not here. Be in prayer for them, too. I think they're still recovering from being ill. So just, uh, Richard, if you're watching, thank you. <laughs> uh, chapter 11, God is self-existent and self-sufficient. You know, and, and this is something that's very important for us to understand, even though it seems like a small lesson. It has a great impact on how we believe. Uh, if you would, I know, Will, I'm sorry, I'm just a little out of, the, out of the slides here, but turn to Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. 